Guys, look, there's some coffins down there. I'm gonna keep my headlamp on anyway as I do this today. Um, if I don't need my headlamp, I won't take it. shovel sitting there. Oh, it's really sad the state of this building here. You guys take a look in front of me. Here's the uh, statue of Jesus again. You can see the decay on it. It's actually got like this little piece of like stuff on top of it here. All right, if you guys look, I'm standing right in the main foyer of the abandoned mausoleum during the day. Uh, it's raining out today, so it's a little dreary. Uh, when you walk straight ahead, guys, you walk, first walk into this place, this is what you see. You walk straight ahead, you see this coffin sitting here on the floor. And then you walk around it here, and you can see that there are more flowers. Uh, more people buried here. Yeah. If you look above it, it says, erected to the honor and glory of God. Okay, and then if you look, guys, over here to the right, uh, there used to be some urns in here. If you look, there's Frida Simon, February 4th, 1931, and there's Emma Simon, April 20th, 1950. And if you guys look, here it is in front of me, the beautiful stained glass. I'm so glad nobody's destroyed this, if you look. That looks like, uh, I'm not sure if that's Jesus, but it looks like Jesus, if you look down here on the bottom. It says, he is risen. And over here, you can see uh, the disciples. And if you guys look, uh, you can see, you can just see the beautiful detail in their faces. I mean, this is incredible that this, that this sits here in an abandoned building and that someday this might be destroyed. If you guys look, you can see he is risen. Look at the detail on those flowers, the cross, and even over here on this angel, or if this is supposed to be Jesus, right there. You can see it, guys. Incredible. All right, I'm gonna go back this way here. You can see this coffin still sitting here. I'm gonna try to fix my headlamp a little bit. Um, if you guys look, it says here on the coffin, um, not all of these have remains in them. This one here says the remains in this casket removed and cremated in accordance with Rhode Island Law 1021-2015. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to go to the right hand side. You can see um, the paper, uh, the plastic that the Department of Health put down is still here. Um, it looks like there's a statue of, I don't know what this was. It looks like it fell off the thing here. I don't think anybody did that one on purpose. If you look straight in front of me, you can see a thing that they used to move caskets, broken windows. You go into the left alcove over here. You can see there's an old ladder. Up in there, there's a casket. Do you see the roof is leaking? Part of the reason why this place is condemned. On the left side here, there's really not much to see. Um, just some little keepsake things, or mem little uh, religious artifacts that people left in here um, for their families. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back over toward the front door where we came in. If you look up, guys, you can see right there, 
Uh, there is a light in the main foyer. Over here you guys can see this casket just sitting here. All right, guys, so when you come in and you go to the left, you can see it's very, really leaking in here. Um, if you look right there, there's another plant or something. Another window. This window is intact here. All right, guys, I'm going to head up to the second floor now. Guys, look, here's the staircase. We're heading up to the second floor. It's much warmer, it has another it has a different smell up here. Um, when you first come up here, guys, you look to the left. This is what you see. The coffins on the floor, the fireplace. You look to the right, you see the entire family that was in here. Um, I'm gonna go over here and check out the entire family. The air is real heavy up here, guys. It's a completely different feel than being downstairs. It's much warmer up here. The smell is really, it's worse. Guys, look, here's the fireplace. I'm really trying to do a much better job today, guys. I hope you appreciate it. You can see the decay on the ceiling. If you guys look, there's just caskets laying on the floor here. On this corner over here. Um, there's a casket right in front of me. And this is the one where there used to be remains. Um, it looks like they were removed. There's a piece of the casket in this room here. And it looks like there was, at one point, an entire family in this room. All right, I'm gonna to go to the back of the second floor now. Um, see what else I can find. All right, guys. Right now, I'm on the upper level uh, of the. I'm up near the balcony. If you look, you can probably see it a little bit better today. Uh, the coffin, when you first walk in, is right there. There's a light right there in the middle, and there's like this little walkway around the outside here. And if you look down, there's the coffin and the stained glass right in front of me. I know even during the day in this situation, it's still a little hard to see, but hopefully you guys are getting a better look. Uh, there's the upstairs right there. It takes you to the third floor. I'm gonna go up there in a minute. Um, if you look, I didn't get this in my nighttime explore, but this here is the way into the back area it's really really wet down here and it's really uh, dripping if you guys take a look uh here's the name of a family sergeant follett and you can look right here you can see this is one room if you look the roof is starting to buckle right there uh, over here we have another family a miller family kennedy and miller right here Uh, if you guys look right here, you can see that the uh, the roof is literally like starting to cave in. The lights and stuff are starting to decay. Yeah. What? All right, show me. Yeah, if you guys look right here, I had to go back over. Uh, my buddy Jared found the, the, this over here. When we were in here at night, we couldn't see this, but if you look right here, uh, this coffin 
this is disgraceful. This coffin right here with inside given out. If you guys look, the, the remains are right there. That is just disgraceful. I can't believe this. I'm just showing you. All right, guys. Yeah, this is really bad over in here. Uh, I was just telling people not to go in here because this side is like the roof is like caving in. I'll show you in one second. If you guys look in other people's videos, this here is the room where uh, straight ahead you walked in. There was a cross right where my light is, but obviously it looks like it's gone now. And if you look, the statues that were here are gone. Somebody moved the... There's one like of Jesus here. The other one is right there. It's broken, I think. Sad that they, somebody had to do this. Yeah, but this side of the building over here, guys, I would not go over here. It's not very safe at all. I'll show you the roof buckling. All right, right here, guys, if you look, you can see the whole roof is starting to like bend in. If you come here, if anybody comes here, do not come to this side right here. Stay away. There's really not much to see over here anyway. All right, guys, I'm gonna go up to the third floor. Okay? Yep. Okay. It's okay. All right, guys, I'm going up to the third floor here. This is the third floor of the abandoned mausoleum. If you take a look, there's an old chair here. There's some debris. Paint cans, the chimney. If you look uh, from over a year ago, people been in here. You can see their names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I got him. That is disgraceful. I see it, yeah. You guys, look, there. Uh, here is the old cash register that sits up here in the chair. You can see it right here. The old paper has fallen off of it. Sorry, I was going to take a picture of the cash register, guys. I just wanted to get a picture of it. If you take a look again, we're in the, up on the third floor now in the daytime. You can see they're either preparing this to have uh, more crypts in here or whatever, um, or they're using it as storage space. Um, if you guys look, there's a lot of old paperwork over here. This looks like an old picture album, but there's no pictures in it right there. Um, I'm going to head back over where the old documents were. If you guys look here, this says uh, the uh, American Brass Company, April 4th, 1927, Oakland Mausoleum. It said uh, price per pound, four cents. Wow, it's crazy. Over here we have a, um, this was from a uh, burial park in uh, Salem, Virginia, uh, November 4th. Uh, November 24th, 1930. We have an old bottle here, one gallon. If you look here, receipts, uh, Oakland Cemetery, Broad Street. It has Mr. Collins' name on it, uh, $15. Okay. Uh, right here, we have uh, Powers Highway Catalog and Directory. Let's take a look at this. This was from uh, 1931, Classified Directory of Manufacturers right here. Interesting. 1931. Guess it's a list of businesses that did like asphalt and uh, oil companies. I guess all the companies in the area. Very interesting. Uh, if you guys look here, there's also some more paperwork from the Oakland Cemetery. You can see it. There's piles of file folders right here next to me. There's more furniture up here. Um, here's Hughes Lighting. 
$15, October 4th, doesn't give the date. Uh, here are some receipt books, it looks like. Uh, here are some business cards. It says TF calling in improved truck bodies. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, it's a lot more, a lot more paperwork back here. Um, here's some handwritten paperwork. What chair creamery? Oh, this is a weird one. Uh, looks like uh, $23,639.56. Some more paperwork over here, guys. Let's take a look. Process Corporation greeting cards, 1932, News comes in here. I can't believe they can't figure out like they can't figure out like who's in here. There's another fireplace here, guys. Another wood stove fireplace right here. Yeah. 